Titter is laid on the table. For what purpose, the gentleman from Mass? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2470. Okay. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 2470, a bill to designate the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 19190 Cochrane Boulevard, FRNT, in Port Charlotte, Florida, as the Lieutenant Commander Roy H. Bone Post Office Building. Pursuant to the rule of the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Lynch, and the gentleman from California, Mr. Bill Ray, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Massachusetts at this time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask that all members may have five legislative days within which to revise and extend their remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, I stand for the consideration of H.R. 2470, legislation that designates the United States Postal Service facility located at 19190 Cochrane Boulevard, Front, in Port Charlotte, Florida, as the Lieutenant Commander Roy H. Bohm Post, Post Office Building. Uh, introduced by Representative Thomas J. Rooney on May 18, 2009, and reported out of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee on June 4, 2009, by unanimous consent, H.R. 2470 enjoys the support of Florida's entire House Congre Congressional Delegation. A longtime resident of Punta Gorda, Florida, Lieutenant Commander Roy Bohm served with distinction in the United States Navy for over 30 years. Lieutenant Commander Bohm enlisted in the United States Navy in April of 1941 at the age of 17. His subsequent and remarkable Navy career included service in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War, and resulted in his receipt of nearly 30 military awards, including the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star with Valor Device, and the Meritorious Service Medal. Notably, Lieutenant Commander Bohm's extensive combat experience over the course of three wars led him to determine that highly specialized and diverse training would give his men a significant tactical advantage in the conduct of unconventional warfare. Accordingly, in 1960, Lieutenant Commander Bohm began, develop, began developing, designing, and assembling an elite special operations unit within the United States Navy that would later become known as the Navy SEALs. In fact, Commander Bohm was the first officer in charge of the Navy SEAL Team Two, which is why he became known as the first United States Navy SEAL. United States Navy Admiral Whitey Taylor acknowledged Lieutenant Commander Bohm's influence on the SEAL program in a 1997 letter to Bohm, where it quotes says, John F. Kennedy was right. The U.S. Navy SEALs will bear your mark as long as they and the freedom they fight for continues to exist, wrote Admiral Taylor. In addition to his distinguished military service, Lieutenant Commander Bohm was equally admired for his longstanding support of military veterans within his Punta Gorda community. Regrettably, Lieutenant Commander Bohm passed away on December 30, 2008, at his Punta Gorda home at the age of 84. It is my hope that we can somehow honor his outstanding legacy and service to our country through the passage of H.R. 2470 and by designating the Port Charlotte Postal Facility on Cochrane Boulevard in his honor. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting H.R. 2470, and I continue to reserve the balance of our time. Gentlemen, reserves the balance of his time. Gentlemen from California, Mr. Bill Ray, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, I yield myself as much time as I may consume, and I rise today in support of H.R. 2470 um, legislation to have the United States Post Office building uh, located at uh, Port Charlotte, Florida, designated Lieutenant Commander Roy H. Bohm uh, Post Office. Mr. Speaker, there were many uh, accomplishments that, that Ms. the Commander Bohm uh, um, ser served in this country in many ways, as the gentleman from Massachusetts has pointed out. But for me personally, uh, as somebody who grew up in a neighborhood full of United States SEAL Team members, um, the San Diego area and specifically the Coronado area, I would just like to say that uh, Commander Bohm is going to go down in history as a man who transformed what was the UDT, 
basically the underwater demolition team and tr transform that concept into what we know today as the SEALs. And I think today that we need to um, take this action, not just for the commander, but for the, the men that serve every day as SEAL team members out there that you will not hear about, but their deeds are great and many, but we don't hear about them mostly because so many of them are, are covert. I have to say that um, from everything from the saving the, the victims of piracy to uh, uh, defending our camps around the world, the SEALs have proven it, their value to this country. Commander Bohm made this possible, and I think that is why it's so appropriate that we join today in naming this post office. Today, the Navy SEALs are known around the world, but when the commander started, nobody hardly even knew what a UDT member was. And largely because of Commander Bohm, we can thank the entire service that we know now today as the SEALs. My fellow members of Congress, I ask you to join me in honoring Commander Bohm by recognizing his many life achievements, his valor, his contribution to the armed services of the United States, and particularly through his participation in the creation of that group the world knows as the United States Navy SEALs. I yield back, I re, uh, yield back my remaining time. Uh, I'm sorry, was that reserve or yield? I'll reserve. Okay. Gentleman reserves the balance of his time. That's, uh, at this time, gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized. Mr. Speaker, we have no further speakers on this. Uh, I'll continue to reserve our time. Uh, gentleman reserves the balance of his time. Gentleman from California. Mr. Speaker, at this time, I <laughs> will yield back the remainder of time. Gentleman yields back the balance of his time. Gentleman from Massachusetts. I thank the gentleman from California for his, his words and support of this measure.